This is Carla Atherton, director of the Lotus Health Project and the Healthy Family Formula, healthyfamilyformula.com. And welcome to the Healthy Family Formula program, where we revolutionize modern health, one empowered family at a time. Disclaimer. The Healthy Family Formula, a Lotus Health Project, represents opinions and educational content only and is not intended to constitute medical advice. The Lotus Health Project disclaims any and all liability for any content delivered through the Lotus Health Project and makes no warranties or representations expressed or implied as to the accuracy or completeness of the information contained or referenced therein. All users agree that all access and use of this program is at their own risk. In other words, I am here to empower you with information and it is up to you to make the decisions that are right for your family. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started with today's presentation. Quick Health Wins Your Family Can Achieve Today, Part 1, Take Out the Trash. Modern families are pressed for time, and when I tell folks that health is a process and that recovery is possible if you put in some effort, no one wants to hear it. I know I don't want to hear it either. Health becomes a chore that is either avoided, put off, or set aside for tomorrow, or it becomes an obsession. Either way, it's no fun. But let's say there were ways to make gaining good health for your family actually easy and, dare I say, enjoyable. Let's say that there were ways to fold in, not force, some daily family routines and practices that would have a massive impact on how you feel every day. Let's say that these new routines and practices then become healthful habits, simply ways of being the way you do things that start you on your way to better days, better years, and a longer, more enjoyable life. Let's say that employing some of these habits is where you need to begin to address even the biggest of health challenges. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. Step one. Remove anything that may be undermining your health. And step two, replace anything that may be undermining your health with things that will elevate your health. Simple, right? Let's start with what's wrong. What if I were to tell you that there are some very real, very problematic dangers in your own home or everyday routines that may be detracting from your family's health? and that some of the very things you think are helping you and your children could actually be hurting you. I'm not being alarmist, but want to be clear that sabotage is absolutely everywhere, and if you know where to look, you can uncover those dangers and eradicate them one by one. Don't panic. Just have a hard look at what might be lurking and toss them out with the rest of the trash. Toxicity Toxins are any kind of substance that is harmful to your body. The presence of toxins can cause any imaginable form of illness, and to avoid the damage they can cause, your body is burdened with the task of cleaning them up or getting them out. Ingredients such as aluminum, see your antiperspirants ingredient list, has been linked to Alzheimer's disease, and phthalates, which are plasticizers, are found in body sprays act as endocrine disruptors. In other words, they mess with you and your developing child's hormone levels. Your family can be exposed to toxins in many ways through the things you take in or are exposed to every day. So what are some of the things to watch for that exist in your home or everyday life that may be undermining all of those efforts? Use this checklist to find out what you may be missing. Personal care products. The skin is the largest organ in your body. 
It also sponges up whatever is put on it, including lotions, makeup, soaps, antiperspirants, and shampoos. Yes, even that baby shampoo or fresh-smelling aftershave. Most personal care products have an extensive list of chemical ingredients that are added to act as preservatives, emulsifiers, or fragrances. And even if your child does not use some of these products, you bet that they will be inhaling whatever scents and fragrances that mom and dad are spraying in their environment. Quick win. When you are shopping for your next bottle of shampoo, read the label and only buy clean products, preferably gluten-free, paraben-free, and organic. The extra $2 you spend will be well worth it. Food and water. Food and water are our greatest source of health and the fuel by which your body runs. Food can and does heal, nourish, and give life. But because our food supply has been altered so profoundly by the creation of genetically modified crops, GMOs, the preference for convenience and affordability over quality, and our fast ways of processing, preparing, and ingesting food, what you are feeding your children may not be as life-giving as you would hope. Chemicals and additives are added to most processed food products, so think of every aisle in the grocery store excluding perhaps the perimeter where you will find produce and meats. And what is fresh is often not organic or is taken home to be fried or microwaved, destroying or denaturing the nutrients they once contained. Drinking quality water is also essential to your health. You are made up of about 75% water, and water is necessary for your body to function at all. (laughs) Without water, you die. But your source of water can introduce some very harmful substances that do not belong in your body. Harmful chemicals are leached into bottled water and our tap water is commonly full of chlorine and fluoride. Having a source of clean water is one of the most basic yet impactful things you can do to improve your health. Quick win? Drink filtered mineral rich water from glass or stainless steel containers, read labels and choose your food wisely. Choose quality over quantity when you can, buy organic and non-GMO, and saute, steam, slow cook, or bake. Cook everything gently so that your food does not deliver chemicals and carcinogens, but gives all of the nutrients you need to function well and efficiently. Remember, food is fuel, food is medicine. Home Environment You are forever being exposed to toxins outside of your control that affect your family's health, such as smog, factory pollution, exhaust, and fumes from other vehicles, you name it. You can't necessarily control what is out there, but you can control what you are exposed to in your home, right? Airtight construction has made our homes much more comfortable and warm, but with this airtight construction comes possible lack of ventilation and fresh air. In addition, in an effort to keep homes clean and fresh, the use of chemical cleaners and air fresheners as well as fire retardants, dyes, paints and glues and off-gassing from new products made of plastics can put you and your children's bodies into toxic overload, causing headaches, ill behavior, even contributing to the onset of more serious conditions, conditions such as autoimmunity and cancers. Have you ever heard of sick building syndrome? It is often believed that the air inside the home is cleaner than the air in a smog-filled city, but we have learned that this is not so. Often the air we create inside the places where we live and work can make us sick. Air quality is essential to your child's health, and things such as airborne chemicals from household cleaners, molds and irritants, New furniture and even your clothing or bedding can leach undesirable chemicals onto your child's skin or pollute the air in your own home. Quick win? Consider and then reconsider everything that comes into your home that may carry with it harmful chemicals. Off gas and air out new products and furniture before you bring them into your home or buy used or find manufacturers who do not use uh, retardants in their fabric. Buy natural fabrics made of cotton or wool and wash every new piece of clothing before you wear it. Get fresh air into your home, open your windows and throw out those nasty air 
quote unquote fresheners, replacing them with essential oil diffusers that will not only make your home smell great, but will also improve your health with their medicinal and bacteria killing properties. Consider where each and every scent from your household cleaners comes from. Is it chemical or natural? Home environment, other issues. So one of these is light pollution and EMF exposure. At the risk of being labeled as the tinfoil hat wearing lady who mutters about alien invasions, and yes, my kids did make me a tinfoil hat, <laughs> I'm going to inform you about the hidden danger of a couple of things people don't necessarily see as potential risks to their health, such as light pollution and electromagnetic fields. Both of these dangers are very real, and there has been a significant amount of research into the dangers of the radiation our modern-day conveniences, such as electricity, computers, iPads, and iPhones, represent to, or present to us, and especially our developing children. Electromagnetic fields, or electromagnetic radi radiation, pollution, EMFs, or EMRs, are fields of energy that surround us every day. Wires and transformers and radio waves transmit a dizzying array of electric and magnetic traffic as well as radiation. Our bodies are equipped to deal with some radiation. In fact, the sun bathes us in radiation every day and the earth emits its own magnetic fields. It is part of how our natural world works. But we are not meant to have to handle this constant barrage of EMFs that we have created, nor are we to be disrupting our circadian rhythms, our natural sleep-wake cycle, through artificial light well into the time when our bodies need to be resting and repairing. Think about your body as an antenna conducting all of that energy. If there's nowhere to discharge that energy, then your bodies absorb it, altering your bodies at a cellular level, a DNA level. Cell phones emit a great deal of radiation and that radiation penetrates even deeper into a child's brain due to the thinness of their skulls and the fluid content of their young and developing brains. Blue lights from computer screens, harsh overhead lights on, on at night, cell phone usage, stimulating activities such as playing video games or watching movies before bed have an overstimulating effect on your child's brain, encouraging everything from slow healing to sleep disturbances. In addition, radiation from cell phone usage has been linked to cancer. Europe has banned cell phone usage for children, and many parents are rallying to get Wi-Fi out of their schools. The fact is, we don't know, we know that these things are harming the health of our children. So the fact is, we know that these things are harming the health of our children. We just don't know yet the extent. Quick wins. Turn off Wi-Fi when not in use. Better yet, use a cord. A good old cord. <laughs> don't let your children play with your cell phone and reconsider buying older children phones. Limit screen time, especially at night, and get those electronics and blue lights out of your bedrooms. Wind down at night visiting, playing, games, going for walks, reading, etc. instead of watching TV. Try not to carry a cell phone in your pocket. Just put it down. Your medicine cabinet. Medications have become the common method of choice to deal with health complaints, aches, and pains. Millions of children are on some sort of antidepressant, sleep aid, or pain medication, and Ritalin has become a household word. There are some instances where medications are helpful or are a temporary method of acute care or rarely are needed more long-term to address some kind of malfunction or problem that cannot be addressed by diet and lifestyle. Cough syrups, Tylenol, inhalers, and antihistamines are all deemed safe for children, but if you read the ingredient list or consider the side effects and truly assess whether your child needs a cough suppressant or cold medication, you may find that the risks outweigh the benefits and that giving their bodies the time to heal may just be what the doctor should have ordered. <laughs> Quick wins. Consider the ingredients. Side effects and necessary, oh, so, sorry, 
Consider the ingredients, side effects, and necessity of every single medication you are considering. Really think about whether that medication is necessary or not. If so, try to find the cleanest ingredient list possible. Many times, cough syrups and liquid pain medications are full of immune-suppressing sugars. Immune-suppressing sugars. And if you decide that the risks outweigh the benefits, use other methods to keep you or your child comfortable while you encourage your body to heal, such as Epsom salt baths, massage, homeopathy, nutrition, and essential oils. Good old rest is actually the best medicine. Out and about. Life is busy. That's no surprise. Many families spend a great deal of time in their vehicles running back and forth from events, classes, games, and visiting with family and friends. The car can be a second home, and the environment in that car will affect the health of your children just as profoundly as the environment in your home. In fact, your car is actually smaller with perhaps more opportunity for hidden dangers to lurk. Your child's school environment and your work environment will also be significant players in the overall health of your family, as will any place that you spend a good amount of your time. Quick win? Clean up your workspace as best as you can, and be aware of your child's school environment. This area is more difficult to control as there are a multitude of variables at play. How do you turn off the Wi-Fi at work or have the school use zero VOC paint or have the teachers open the windows or the school or workplace switch their lighting to full spectrum lighting? That is not easy or quick, (laughs) but by just being aware of how these environments can and do affect your family's health will give you some insight into why you or your kids may be coming home fatigued and cranky. It may give you some insight as to why many or what may be sabotaging your efforts to make you and your children well. Once you are aware, the solutions will start to come to you. Stress. Stress levels run high in the modern household. And when stress rises, your ability to fight illness and disease and your level of happiness take a dive. Your sleep can suffer, your grades or quality of work can plummet, your sense of control over your own life can also suffer. Stress equals illness, period. Stressors can be found from a multitude of forms and from many sources, including everything we discussed so far. So toxicity from things such as chemicals, bad food, unclean water, EMFs and radiation, and unnecessary medication. But other stressors that can equally harm your health can be relationship problems, overscheduling, lack of exercise, poor sleep quality, lack of downtime, existential angst, as well as infection, gut problems, detoxification problems, vitamin de- deficiencies, the list goes on. All things to address one at a time in bite-sized pieces. So we started this presentation with what is wrong what might be sabotaging your family's health, and I would like to end this presentation with what is right. What are you already doing to keep your family strong and healthy? And what do you want to do to revolutionize your family's health? Here are the Healthy Family Formula 5 Pillars of Health. Diet, Nutrition, Supplementation. Rest, Repair, and Sleep. Stress reduction, exercise and movement, and finally, mindset and motivation. If addressed, you can unlock an inspiring host of ways, both quick and sustainable, to relieve the stressors that can potentially make your family unwell and unhappy. Okay, so that is enough for now for part one. Do join us for our next presentation where we get more specific about the Healthy Family Formula's five pillars of health, additional quick wins, and more, more, more. Now go and have some fun with your family.